to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Okay, today I actually had family day with the family. My little old granddaughter had um, a dance recital, and it was so fun for me because I didn't have any daughters. And it was just the most adorable thing ever, but my son doesn't want to show the baby because, you know, there's some bad people out there. But it was very, very fun, and I enjoyed myself immensely. What to do when no one has any money? Figure that out now. So what we want to do is we want to assume that there's a possibility that the inflation could get worse, the job situation could get worse. And so what might give us the impression that the job situation might be worse? They say when uh, your neighbor loses his job, it's a recession. When you lose your job, it's a depression. Warning, McDonald's may be closing because the franchises are bankrupt. Are, the franchises are bankrupt. Uh, one of the complaints is the higher prices. Now, I buy everything with my apps, and I just buy the cheap hamburgers. But... Um, we all know this. I took beginning business. When I took beginning business, the teacher would lock the door. You know, we would all get in. He would take attendance, and he would literally lock us in. Mr. Harm. I took, uh, he was a high school teacher, and I took typing from him and then beginning business. Okay, when the consumption is down, the price goes up. So big surprise, these franchises can't hang Hang on, so which fr franchises might go down? Well, it be, would be the franchises in the poor areas where they really need the jobs. Okay, here's some stuff. This is nice, I will buy some more of this. One of the things to do is quit your bad habits now. And then you can get by you'll have more money. So I'm trying to quit the Diet Coke. So, okay, so warning, warning, McDonald's, and they're saying like 20% of the actual stores. What they're doing is they're just trying to move people to online shopping. So um, today, I had half a pizza from Grocery Outlet, $2.99, so it was $1.50 um, each. When I got home from the, the dance recital, I was really exhausted because it was hot, and I am a hater of sun. But when I got up, I had this pizza, and it was really great. Okay, now I made a tasty batch of, this time I wanted to make tropical fruit granola. And then I put my granola in. Uh, today we drove my car and my car is still a mess. And my son goes, you are going to sell your, um, your candy jars? And I go, yeah, because the house was getting jumped up. But nobody bought them, thank the good Lord. And my son goes, it's a good thing you didn't sell them. And I go, yeah, I was thinking the same thing after I didn't sell them. So, okay, so what I want to tell you guys about this granola is this is pretty good for uh, a single person because this is enough granola for one person for over a week. And so what I do is, in the middle of the night, I eat egg sandwiches, which is a fried egg with uh, cheese on a hamburger bun, or I eat uh, cereal and milk, or I eat soup and crackers. So I have these cheat meals. So 33% of the time, I like um, oatmeal with homemade apple sauce too. Uh, oatmeal with banana chips is good too. So, okay, so um, what? how I made this granola. So see, I have about a, one jar. I think this jar is about, well, it'd be three cups. Okay, so um, it was one and a half cups oatmeal, 
I use two cups of nuts and seeds, but it's generally only uh, one and a half uh, cups of each, or you can make a full batch. I heated one quarter cup honey and one quarter cup oil. So I mix my nuts and my oatmeal. And so when you start, um, you start eating out of your stockpile, it goes fast. So, um, okay, so, and then you pour it all over your um, fruit and your oatmeal, and then you bake 300 and you toss it around. But I wanted to mention something. This granola is really good with uh, plant milk. I bought this at Grocery Outlet. And then for my fruit this time, I have these dry mangoes. I think I bought them at Dollar Tree. And then I had this tropical uh, fruit. There's not too much in this, only about a half a cup. Then I had walnuts and I had um, coconut, whatever you have. It can be all oatmeal, that's good too. You can add peanut butter. If you have, you know, if you have peanut butter in your refrigerator that's been in there for a while. So, okay, then I made a tasty batch of brownie bars because I mentioned to you guys that I like to buy cookies and they're a dollar each. So this way I get six brownie bars. And what I did was I bought uh, this at Walmart. I wrote down how much. It was a 132 and I used half. So it was 66 cents. So you figure instead of a dollar, you're paying uh, 10 cents each. And then I, you know, I was, I saved everything. And so I had uh, white chocolate somewhere. Oh, here it is. So uh, this stuff comes, I, I always refrigerate or freeze this. I use just this, it's five bite-sized pieces. And then I put walnuts on the top because I thought, well, that'd be good. That'd be kind of like a Rocky Road brownie. And so I will eat one tonight and then I will freeze the rest. Uh, you know, like when I was young, they used to say, can you bring something? And I used to think, no, I'm busy, okay? I used to work three jobs and I never had any money. So believe it or not, people, I would bring chicken legs. People, It's just nice to eat somebody else's cookie. So, okay, brownie bars, use your imagination. Anything is good with uh, brownies. Red Hots, I love that. Okay, then I make my homemade yogurt. And I want to mention you can use your plant milk. So I start shopping at Grocery Outlet and I start getting some. Uh, you can use this to make your yogurt. Just dilute it, half coconut, half uh, water. And then I buy the yogurts at uh, Aldi's for 49 cents. Okay, so you have one little cup of yogurt, any kind, one can of evaporated milk, and then you would dilute it half and half like the coconut milk, or you could use this good plant milk. So you, hit, you uh, take your uh, yogurt out of the refrigerator and you let it get room temperature then you um, heat a big pan of water and you slip it into the oven. I cover it with foil to heat the oven because you're gonna leave it there overnight. So you heat your water and your milk or you shelf stable milk um, and the, at, to 180 on the top of the stove. Then you let it cool or if you don't have a thermometer it's just before it starts to boil. You'll see the bubbles around. It's going to boil any second. Then you cool it down to 120. But if you don't have a thermometer, think of a very warm bath. And then mix your room temperature yogurt in it. And I usually make, I think I still have some. Uh, now this is good with yogurt too. Here they are. So here is my yogurt. And I make smoothies or, you know, I just usually I just eat them. And so you, what I do is I put the yogurt in the back and I put the pan of hot water in the front. 
I am so sunburned, let me tell you. I am not used to sun. And then I close the door, and then just before I go to bed, I reheat the water again to boiling, and I slip it in there, and then by the next uh, day, I have, um, I have yogurt. So by learning to make some of this stuff. Now, I want to mention something. Okay, I posted a video of some really poor people living in their cars, and one of them was a young girl living in San Diego. So then my phone fed me these two videos riding dirty. I moved into a tiny 175 square foot apartment and then there was a man and this was Las Vegas. Um, and it was, um, and it, anyway, I can't find the, the uh, video, but go to my uh, Twitter, Rhoda Stone Twitter. And so neither one mentioned the price, but now we have the internet. So these tiny apartments uh, rent for $1,226 to $1,388. And they're very, very small. But after living in your car, they're very, very nice to live in. So, you know, it's cheaper to live in Las Vegas, but then you have the air conditioner all summer. So that's going to draw it. But they're the room air conditioners. I have experienced those air conditioners in Las Vegas. In that case, what it would be good to do is do not go back to your apartment, especially if you're a single adult, until, until very, very late. Like live in your car, continue to live in your car until, you know, you just have to get some sleep and then turn your air on. So that was good. Okay, now I want to mention um, this. Okay, you know these tiny apartments? Now what they're doing out here is they're buying uh, motels and they're putting the homeless in them. So it has been postulated, and this sounds pretty accurate, these state-run motels would house homeless, poor, drug addicts, alcoholics, uh, mentally ill, and seniors. So you might be saying to yourself, that is a place I never wanna go. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, me too. But it's better than the street. So now I wanna talk to you about three good videos. The first one is Feature Man, he's back. Now his approach is the most like mine I've ever seen. And today he had um, beef stew and he had rice. And that is like me. I would have a can of food and I would have potatoes or I would have rice. And, and it was a lot of food. And then he had some uh, puddings for dessert. Very cheap. I buy, um, I remember I think he bought six um, beef stews a while back and I guess he's down to his last one. So when you have money, you want to do a little stockpiling. So you're you're not going hungry or you want to go to the uh, food pantry and you want to uh, eat whatever they give you uh, so i put that on my twitter and then to go with it he had coleslaw and potato potato salad and he bought it but if you have potatoes and you have cabbages you know you could make your own very easily okay homestead tessie now what she's doing is she's just like buying discount food. I do that too. And even uh, got some dumpster diving stuff, which was really good. She got like 50 pounds. The way she does, she's been at this a long time, uh, like I have, but I wanna mention, okay, it was 10 things I am doing now to prepare for next year. Avoid all the trouble areas totally, like these motels. Be on the lookout and watch for people looking to like assault you and steal your purse or you know rob you or another one is romance scammers or men with children <laughs> that need somebody to watch their children so you know and a place to live and and like they love you so much but they love your house and your car better I saw one scammer and she went to Egypt, and the next thing you know, she was riding a bike and her young husband was driving a car. So, and you know, in the shop, we would see it all the time.
these ladies that were young would move in and grab someone's husband and all their resources and it would leave the wife penniless. Okay, so um, now another thing I've been avoiding is the swap meet and dumpster diving. I did get um, a four drawer metal um, cabinet, but that was more like a uh, curbside. But it, the reason I'm avoiding it is because as we move into more poverty, if we do, there's gonna be rampant uh, germs. So we want to avoid that. So, okay, so um, check out Tom Willett, check out Homestead Tessie. And, and she was uh, freezing vegetables too, which learn how to do that. Okay, I found a new one. How to eat for $1 emergency extreme budget grocery haul meal plan and prep K James. Okay, it was really good. Okay, um, feature man lives in Tennessee. Homestead Tessie lives in Amish country and this one lives in Florida. So what she had is she had pasta that she bought and she mentioned this at Walmart for like 35 cents and then she had eggs and she uh, concocted a day's food really cheap. I'll be doing some of these again. And, and it was really good because it was just an original uh, approach and knowing how to do this, you can concoct some good uh, dinners. So check out how to eat for $1 emergency extreme budget grocery haul meal plan and prep cook with me K James. Uh, today they had eggs in Dollar Tree again. They haven't had any. Uh, the, the shelves were kind of bare, but they had eggs. Um, also, I want to mention something. Okay, let's say I am. De I don't have any food in my house. Okay, I told my son if something like that happens, you better check me out. It's time for the nursing home. But it can happen. Don't forget top ramens because if I was really hungry, what I would do with these is I would cook the noodles and then I would make gravy with uh, water or chicken bouillon. You just heat some butter, heat some flour, stir it around, make some gravy. And then uh, with either beef bull or chicken bouillon or milk, and then put the top ramen in it. And if you had some of those $1.49 sausages or you had some bacon, I will be making one of those. Then another thing is at Grocery Outlet, I got these three for a dollar. And these are four servings. So, you know, I'll be making some of those I will show you. And then today, I bought these uh, chips for 50 cents. So this is a lot of chips. No, 25 cents. So um, what I like to eat is if you have refried beans, you know. Okay. Um, so check out those three videos on my Twitter. Now, I'm watching Europe. Okay, now you think to yourself, oh, the Europeans have their stuff together, right? Not all of them. Okay, but I was watching this one and I lost it, but I remembered all the stuff he had. Okay, what he is doing is he is um, using no utilities. He can't. And so what he does is he has one light bulb, and let me tell you, it's dark in there, and he moves the light bulb from room to room. Okay, so um, that also prevents you from leaving the lights on. So that's a good strategy as well. Also, you can turn all your, um, your utilities off at the breaker switch, except for the refrigerator, and that will save a lot of money. Okay, now another thing is, so he has no heat, and I assume he's gonna have no air. Uh, also, there's no cooking because that costs money. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to do some of these meals that don't require cooking. The uh, lunch meat packets like of Spam, tuna, uh, cheese. Uh, okay. Um, oh, also on this, how to eat for $1 emergency extreme budget grocery home meal plan and cook prep. 
she also mentioned try to get uh, samples at the restaurants. And then I have some ketchup. Uh, I will try to do that. I mean, especially if it's something like me, I order these big on my app. I'm, I'm probably causing McDonald's to go down, but I get the fries once a week on Friday free and the other days for um, $1.25. So, okay, no cooking. Um, so I'm thinking about how about getting an electric skillet or a toaster oven. That would be cheaper. So, okay, I'm surprised I could do this. I, I'm telling you guys, I was ready to fall on my face. <laughs> okay, you guys, please like, comment, and, and subscribe, and God bless you all.